your weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather well we saw a good amount of rain earlier today but right now our fox 54 radar is much quieter we're not picking up on anything at the moment but that's not to say that we couldn't see a passing shower heading into the overnight stationary front sitting well off to our south and notice high pressure about to come into the tennessee valley and uh, help kind of take over and make things a little nicer for the day tomorrow but a few isolated showers going to be possible early tomorrow morning. Right now, though, temperatures notice we're in the low 50s, upper 40s in some areas, 49 right now in Fayetteville, 47 in Pulaski, 58 in Coleman, 49 right now in Florence, Scottsboro currently sitting at a 56 degrees. So it looks like we'll wake up to the low 50s for tomorrow morning. Notice it is going to be a pretty cloudy start and a few isolated showers going to be possible early tomorrow morning. In fact, majority of us probably going to stay dry, uh, but just know that if you do see rain, it's not going to be an all day thing. So heading into the afternoon, we could see some peaks of sunshine, but expect a mostly cloudy day for tomorrow and it looks like temperature is going to top out in the mid and upper 60s for your Sunday. Now I've been talking about multiple opportunities for rain for the week ahead and it looks like our first one for more widespread rain is going to be coming on Monday. We've got a cold front that's going to come through and it's going to bring a few thunderstorms even to the Tennessee Valley, but severe weather threat looks to be staying well off to our north. Uh, so really we're just in the what they call the thunderstorm category. Uh, so you can expect a few rumbles of thunder heading into your Monday. Uh, we could also see some heavy rainfall, which could lead to a flooding potential. So we're just going to have to watch that rain chances for the next seven days. So remain pretty elevated. So enjoy Tuesday after the rain we see on Monday because of 50% on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. It looks like we're going to have another frontal boundary move through and that's going to up those rain chances back to around 80%. But the good news is by this time next week, it looks like things are going to be much drier. So rain accumulation for the next seven days. One to two inches in some areas, two to four inches in some areas. As mentioned earlier, it could lead to a flooding issue. We're just going to have to continue to watch it. Your seven day forecast looks like this mid and upper 60s for tomorrow. A few morning showers possible. We're going to mix in a few thunderstorms for Monday rain. Notice that high temperature is 76 degrees. We're going to say goodbye to the 80s for the next seven days. Looks like we'll stay in the 70s until we get to Thursday. High temperature right around 68 and we'll be back in the 50s heading into next weekend. Notice uh, 58 this time next week and it looks like we'll see mostly sunshine.